Hello, greetings. Uh, this is about my case and condition. Someone doesn't want me to become a better person, to reach my aim, and has been casting obstacles in my way. Uh, I, I, st I, I wasn't a complainer too much, you know, complaining uh, about others. Uh, so there's a kind of a sinister presence. I can't make out whether this is good for me or bad. I couldn't make out earlier, many years back. They've got me, uh, you know, with the chains or something. And uh, I don't approve of my behavior at times, many a times, uh, like going to someone's to sing. Uh, so let me say uh, they're trying to make it a split personality disorder. Also, uh, the enemies are a lot of mine, or they're very clever. I don't know what it is. Uh, so it is it's like a disclaimer sorry uh, i cannot claim this kind of behavior of mine uh, i feel i'm i've been through hypnosis uh, distance mind control you know uh, been uh, controlled so a lot of things i don't approve of like uh, bringing family secrets out, my own. But I had to because, for example, my privacy, like I can, uh, uh, you know, someone watching me since you're, since they did something, they came in the name of healing me or uh, it was very, very deceptive, I felt. At, at the first, it was like Yusuf Zaidi, wanted to help and he was begging me and then they you know showing that I'm the bad one I want to do these things so um, I don't approve of all this of how my life has turned out to be it's in a mess and also my behavior I wouldn't even go to my principal's place like on one E that stopped myself. I wanted her to spend time with the family. Um, so uh, this schizophrenia and all could be due to environmental hypocrisy and hazard. And I can't explain, I'm now, uh, my mind is blocked again. So as I remember to say this, I'm going to share it on my YouTube channel. Uh, you may not think I'm honest, you, uh, but I'm suffering. Uh, no, I'm, uh, you may not even think I'm suffering. You may blame me for self-pity or victimization and victim playing, like prof a quiet professional did on this channel dystopia to reason. Um, so if I detect like uh, in myself something that I don't like, uh, I'm, I have to say this, I don't like it, I hate it, I want to change it, I don't approve of it the way I handled going back there. Uh, please follow me on Facebook live stream if you want to know the entire case of mine. It's very complicated for me to explain. Like someone doesn't want us to succeed in life. Everything has backfired. It was heart-wrenching today, thinking again of Mrs. Munir Guzal and how they separated, someone separated me because even after eight years when I went to her place, her niece told me that she would be so happy to see you. But uh, after two days or three, I went to her. And then, like in the beginning, I told her, I spoke to her on the phone, like I've made these things for her. 
uh, can uh, I show you and come over and then we can set it up even more so she said okay then you know like uh, at first she was uh, like hesitant so in the beginning she someone had uh, reached someone had gone to her communicated that you should not see her so she started to be reluctant I was like, Mommy, we have been, how could you do this? So there was this reluctance. The next day I was called, send your driver and pick to pick these things up I made for her. Uh, saving my own money and all this, but, uh, you know, it's for love. So, but, um, like, even someone else told me that I should, uh, this time I would tell you to go there. But uh, that was my cousin, because he made all these things with uh, my heart, I made it. Uh, recently what's happened is uh, the enemy has gotten to me again. I would not have made such a big thing. Do you see the madness that came out on Dystopia to Reason and about Dystopia to Reason channel? I've been uploading videos like mad. God knows when this will stop. Uh, so it backfires. Everything that I worked, I failed to achieve. Even to just become a good human being. <clears throat> and to maintain that. And never to hurt anyone. So things coming up. Uh, things, oh God, I can't speak properly. So, uh, so I hope this is enough. If you really care for me, and then there are some enemies there and some misunderstandings. Uh, so I just uh, wanted to do good and my life, it's messed up and there's a very bad energy. Please do research. Please investigate about these use of Zaidi people. But uh, they are covert narcissists can get away. He would say, for example, now, like when I said that this is a jinn, these are jinns they've sent. And then they're saying that your mommy really loves you a lot. And so that I would calm down and you would close the case, my case on Yusuf Zaidi is the one who's sending the jinns initially, right? We can't tell, so this is a very complicated case. Uh, okay, uh, these Pakistanis cunning, I cannot say. Someone did say that, okay, even if Kohram didn't sound sincere enough, there's no need for me to go there and start to, you know, say all these things. Or if I don't like dishonesty or... I feel that they are against, they also don't like Hindu things. That's okay. See, now I'm so calm about it and I will feel guilty. I will uh, see again that this is what they were doing uh, in year 2000. You know, making me feel guilty for what someone else has put on us and made us do. This is one of a kind uh, negative force. I cannot express, uh, explain. I'm out of breath, and my English, everything is deteriorating in life. Okay, so I apologize again and hope you understand. Thank you for your patience and understanding those who know, are uh, my true well-wishers. Thank you so much.